everyone, Laura here for Concord 9th. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to introduce to you the Sweet Bee Stamps, Dyes, and Stencils. A beautiful trio. You can use them all together or you can use them individually. The stencil set creates a beautiful floral background. The stamps and dies uh, coordinate with the stencil as well as there's some bee themes going on there with the sentiments. Now the Sweet Bee stencil set is five stencils and you can use these to create the most beautiful floral background. I'm gonna show you starting with stencil number one and I'm using Sprout Ink. I have a panel of white cardstock trim to four and a quarter by five and a half and there are registration marks on the stencil that make it very easy to line up and get that perfect placement every time. Once I blended evenly over the whole stencil with Sprout, I went in with Parsley, took a smaller little detail blender brush and give a little bit of gradient love. And this is optional. You don't have to make it quite so detailed and intricate, but I do love that bit of gradient love. It's one of my favorite things about ink blending. So there's stencil number one. And like I said before, you don't have to use all the stencils, but when you do, it's va 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 voom, for lack of a better term. Okay, stencil number two. Of course, I'm gonna make it as difficult as possible. I try to pack in as much color as I can, so all the blooms are gonna get different colors. I got honeysuckle, I got a little sorbet, a little marmalade, a little buttercup, and I'm using all the Concord Night colors. They just work seamlessly together. I do use a mixture of blender brushes. I love the Concord Ninth blender brushes, but I also use all the other brands and land. If you like to ink blend, you if you like to ink blend, you know, right? You got to have all the things, all the tools. Just like to have them all and use them all. Okay, so then I uh, add a little bit of gradient, a little bit of gradient love there. Okay, we're on stencil number 3. It's coming together, but each time I lift up the stencil, I think to myself, you could stop right there, but uh, we're moving on because I want to show you all the detail and how it comes together. Okay, we got, uh, got more flowers coming in here with ballet slipper and sea glass. Um, just adding as much color. But like I said before, you don't have to make each flower a different color. You could do each stencil one color. Make it easy on yourself. Don't overthink it. Just have fun. That's the name of the game, really. Uh, it's called the Sweet Bee Stencil Set, and we're having fun with it today. Okay, look at that. You could stop. I mean, it's gorgeous. Stencil number four adds a little bit more detail to some of those blooms. Okay, so I'm a lot of them I'm using the same ink color that I did before. I'm just going with a little heavier hand to make it slightly darker. So it gives that kind of tone on tone look. There you have now the last and final stencil, number five, adds the centers to the flower. So I pulled out mushroom and I'm gonna do them all in mushroom. It's a very like dark slate gray. You could also do black or you could do a color too. You know, you can do a lot of different things, wherever you wanna color the center of your blooms. And there you have the finished Sweet Bee background stencil. Now here's the thing about this background stencil. The dies in the Sweet Bee die set coordinate with the stencil. So you could cut out all these images that you've just blended and use them as individual elements. So I'm going to show you how I do that. I just line up all the dies, take it off camera, run it through my die cutter machine. I do this a couple times until I die cut almost every image that I blended. Now, you don't have to die cut only blended images. If you want to use these dies, you could just die cut solid color cardstock or pattern paper, however you want to do it, but they can be used in a mixture of ways. So there you have all your little individual floral. And then this also dies that cut like the center of the flowers. Maybe you want to do that out of black cardstock or just die cut holes in the center of your flower. Also included in the die set are these little bee, and, and there's a stamp in the Sweet Bee stamp set. I'll show you how you can stamp that bee body right onto some yellow so I die cut the little bee shape out of yellow buttercup cardstock, stamped it with black ink, and then I'm gluing on the little white wings. You could also die cut those out of vellum, and it makes a cute little bee, little die cut bee. And also in the stamp set is another bee image, a smaller one, slightly smaller, and there is a coordinating die for that as well. There's also a little die for like a bee, 
little bead trail, swirly bead trail. Here's a stamp set. You are sweet as can be. Be yourself. Happy bee day. Just because everything's going to be all right. And that is a little mini stamp set. So see the little bee trail? I die cut that into this panel of uh, Aqua Sky cardstock. I'm going to show you a little peekaboo trick. I'm going to die cut the bee right into the front of my card. So you have the bee and then I die cut the bee and stamped like I showed you before and I'm going to glue that to the inside of my card. So the bees are going to be on the inside but there's a little die cut window so it kind of gives you that peekaboo, little peekaboo action. Kind of a fun little interactive element. And then I went ahead and, and adhered all those little floral pieces onto that card as well. I used another background panel that I blended. I added the thanks from the markered turnabout die set. Here's a couple bees on there for fun. And then you have your little peekaboo bee card. I stamped a sentiment on the inside just because this collection is perfect for spring flowers, bees, just because. And that is the introduction to the Sweet Bee Stamps, Dies, and Stencils.